Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to our service this morning. Psalm 104 is the verse I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. And uh, as we come into our worship, we remember that all things derive from one prime divine source. And we proclaim the power of God we acknowledge our dependence on God for life and for the meaning of life. So let us pray together. Heavenly Father, you are the source of all true and lasting joy. We praise you for your power, which is beyond compare. We worship you for your wisdom, which is beyond understanding. You can meet all our needs. You restore the brokenhearted and heal the wounded. You have revealed yourself to your people and are building your church against which the gates of hell cannot prevail. How great you are, Lord. Fill our hearts with love as we respond by singing praises to you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Our first hymn this morning is all things bright and beautiful. us that God saw everything he had made and behold it was very good but God also built change 
into his creation. One of the life's greatest miracles is the way that a caterpillar changes into a butterfly. Metamorphosis is the uh, posh word for it. A change of the form or nature of a thing or person into a completely different one, the dictionary tells us. And of course, we are called to be changed and transformed. In Romans 12, it says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you, you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. We've been living through a great period of change and difference. The way many of us have been working has been transformed over the last weeks. But our prayer should be as we look to God, Lord, change me, change me, transform me into what is the will of God for me, so that I may be good and acceptable and perfect for him. We're going to hear again now, the song is All Hail the Lamb, and it's actually a video that some may have seen already. It's the Kettering Churches together. They had a meeting this week, but what they did was they uh, assembled musicians in their homes and they put together this video of All Hail the Lamb. So uh, as we uh, listen to this and we see the pictures of the various people for those who are on video, let us worship and give the Lord thanks for he did give us the Lamb of God.
We now come to our reading and uh, Trevor is going to read from John chapter 17 for us this morning. Gospel according to St John chapter 17 starting at verse 1. The first part of the reading is entitled Jesus prays for himself. After Jesus said this, he looked towards heaven and prayed. Father, the time has come. Glorify your son, that your son may glorify you. For you granted him authority over all people, that he might give eternal life to all those you have given him. Now this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your presence with the glory I had with you before the world began. And then from verse 6, the passage is entitled, Jesus prays for his disciples. I have revealed you to those whom you gave me out in the world. They were yours. You gave them to me. And they have obeyed your word. Now they know that everything you have given me comes from you. For I give them the words you gave me, and they accepted them. They know with certainty that I came from you, and they believed that you sent me. I pray for them. I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. All I have is yours, and all you have is mine and glory has come to me through them. I will remain in the world no longer, but they are still in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them by the power of your name, the name you gave me, so that they may be one as we are one. Thanks to God for the reading of his word. Thank you very much, Trevor. I want this morning to take that verse, protect them with your name, which you have given me. In biblical times, people's attitudes towards names and titles were steeped in meaning. For example, in invoking the name of God, the pious Jews used the word Yahweh, which Standing alone was a complete expression of their understanding of the divine. Spelled out in our own terms, Yahweh means something like this. The self-existent being who determines his own destiny and that of the world. Invoking the name of Yahweh was a profound expression of faith in the God who presides over all creation. For pious Jews, it summarized God's destiny as Lord and Master of all he created. Names are important. They can remind us of stories, just a few names. Moses, immediately we think of the bulrushes, the stories of Moses leading the people out of Egypt. Daniel. Immediately, the lion's den comes to mind, doesn't it? And other stories associated with him. Goliath. David and Goliath, the giant and the small, faithful boy. Jonah, probably one of the uh, best-known stories from the Bible uh, among children as we remember the story of Jonah and the whale. Samson strength, 
long hair. Zacchaeus, who climbed up into a tree to see Jesus. Peter, who, despite being a disciple, betrayed Jesus, but then went on to become one of his greatest advocates. And of course, Paul, the apostle, who went on very many missionary journeys. We need to claim the names of Jesus which God has given him. Names such as Emmanuel, God is with us. Christ, Logos, meaning the word. Son of God, but also Lamb of God light of the world, rabbi, teacher. Looking out over our disordered world, it is good to hear again and again the good news of a God who cares, of a God who loves, of a God who has taken the initiative in doing something about our desperate situation. It is good to hear again and again of a God who comes through to us in Jesus Christ. It is good to hear again and again that the Christ Spirit not only is within us as a very personal and individual reality, but also is in the whole world as a cosmic reality. And it is essential for us to hear again and again that God is working through the Christ Spirit in us to bring about the ultimate harmonization of all things. In these difficult times, we need to remember that God is with us, that Christ is working through the Spirit in us. We need to claim the names of Jesus which God has given him. We need to claim the promise that Jesus asked of God. Protect them with your name which you have given me, he said. He asked that of God, and God responded. We are protected by the name which God has given Jesus Christ. Amen. We're now going to sing, All hail the power of Jesus' name, let angels prostrate fall, a hymn which reminds us the importance of Christ and his name.
We now come to our prayers of intercession and uh, Mark is going to lead us in our prayers. Thank you, Mark. Good morning, everybody. Let's pray. Father, I place into your hands the things that I can't do. Father, I place into your hands the times that I have been through. Father, I place into your hands the way that I should go, for I know I always can trust you. Father, I place into your hands my friends and family. Father, I place into your hands the things that trouble me. Father, I place into your hands the person I would be, for I know I always can trust you. I was inspired this week by a prayer that was pinned to the door of a church in Market Harbour. And I'm using this as the basis of what we'll share this morning. God of love and light, in this time of fear, give us your peace. In this time of isolation, give us your presence. In this time of sickness, give us your healing. In this time of uncertainty, give us your wisdom. In this time of despair, give us your hope. In this time of darkness, shine your light upon us all, in Jesus' name. And so we pray for those who are fearful, those feeling isolated, those who are sick in body and in mind, those who are uncertain. We pray for those who have a sense of despair and those of us who feel at times in deep darkness. Father God, we thank you that throughout you are a God of love and light, God of peace, a God of presence, a God of healing, a God of wisdom, a God who gives us hope in Jesus. Bless us, Lord, in this time of darkness and shine your light on us all. In Jesus' name. Amen. And let us now say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Our final hymn is At the Name of Jesus.
Go in peace, pray for every living being, and be gentle in all you say and do. And let us now say the grace together. The grace well, it's been good to see you all this morning, and we will be uh, meeting Monday, Wednesday, and Friday as usual for our prayers. So uh, let's sort of greet everybody now as we uh, finish our service and uh, go and enjoy our own teas and coffees and biscuits in our own kitchens. Mm. So, good morning, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye 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 Bye Daniel. Bye. Bye. Bye Daniel. Bye Daniel. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye Daniel. Bye. 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 Bye, Janet. Bye, Bob. Bye, Janet. Bye, Bob.